Good morning. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you so very much for tuning in to the Good News Radio Station. Uh, You are listening to Coach Ask Zena. Hey, how are you today? Happy hump day. Wow. Uh, The day after the election, the primaries, right? Um, Whew. Uh, were some twists and turns, but uh, it's all good. Um, I know we have a lot to talk about today, just so much going on. And I have an announcement to share with you. Uh, but these are these are good times, even though they feel like they are challenging times, even though they feel like we're in the middle of turmoil. Um, these are some good times. So wow, life is amazing. And life is just happening. And um, just falling into place the way that it should. I know it doesn't feel that way, but you know, in true Coach Ask Zena form, I'm going to walk you through that process, right? So good morning, good morning, good morning. Thank you for so very much for tuning in to the Ask Zena radio show on the Good News Family Network. Yes, we've got sports. We've got a lot of different personalities. We've got Chill Will Monday morning with, uh, you know, our our host, our CEO, Keith. Um, you've got to listen to some of the other shows that are out there. Hey, check out Ladies Night on Friday night. They're doing some amazing things. And also, you want to go to the Good News um, uh, website and check out the podcast training and all of that stuff. Hey, let's jump right into it. So today, um, I do have an announcement. Uh, today is actually going to be my last day with the good news family. Right now, it looks like it'll be a little bit of a hiatus. I'm going to take some time off to uh, really do some different things and work on some new projects. So you won't be hearing from me on the radio. Uh, uh, with this podcast for, I, I want to say for probably about three months, but well, let's see how the projects um, prevail and let's see what happens. Got a lot going on, just so much going on and going to be going back and forth to Arizona and doing some traveling. So uh, life is about to get busy, right? Um, which I love. I absolutely love being busy. So couple of things. Thank you so very much if you participated in the free job search workshop. I received some really, really good feedback and we're working on the training modules um, as we recorded that and uh, be putting that out on my website. So um, give you some context uh, context with regards to that. Um, my thought is that I would be doing more of those trainings in Los Angeles and here in Arizona. So you can find out more. You can always reach out to me via email, um, coach.askzena at gmail, or you can get in touch with me on the social media channels, Ask Zena. Uh, so a lot coming up and a, a lot of new stuff, right? Um, I'm also starting to write again, which is really amazing and very cathartic for me. So um, working on a couple of different lifestyle uh, projects um, to really help people to move and groove into their flow so that they can start to glow and start to let life manifest and happen for them. Because you know that that's what I'm all about. I'm all about life unfolding and manifesting for you just as you desire and just as you require. So if this is your first time tuning in to the Ask Xena radio show, um, yeah, I'm all about the the Asians, the manifestation, using your imagination and your creation creation to, you know, create this world that, um, that you want to live in. And, um, I am all about removing the circumstances and, um, the situations around you, even though that they feel like they're happening to you, they're actually happening through you. So today is all about being a bad ass, right? On my last 
radio podcast day for I'm just going to say I'm going to be on a little break. Um, I love the Good News family. I love um, what they do here. I love the people and what they stand for. And they're just a collective group of high energy, um, amazing people that are flowing in their gifts, talents and abilities. So I love being around people like that. So today, you know, I really want to talk about being a badass. Um, because as I thought about like, what am I going to be doing with my life? Like, what does the next chapter look like? What do I want to do? And, and uh, so some of you will uh, recognize that, you know, I do talk about God and spirituality, not really religion, but God and spirituality, but then I curse. And it's like, um, that doesn't make sense. Well, no shade, no judgment. <laughs> that's just who I am. And if you call it blasphemy, then then that's what you call it. But I call it living um, in my being. And so trust and believe that I say my prayers and that I do my meditation and that I am right with myself. So I don't need you <laughs> to be wrong with me and mess up your energy because you're just trying to figure out, you know, who I am and what I am and all that. You know, it reminds me because I, I post things a lot of times and people are so critical and they're so quick to like judge people or make a comment or try to correct people. So a couple of recent posts that I made, I made a post um, about Lysol and I looked on the back of the can and it said, uh, um, human coronavirus, right? That it kills. Lysol is supposed to kill 99% of the germs on contact, <laughs> uh, giving them a full commercial. And then it actually lists out different bacteria and viruses. And it said within 30 seconds that it, you know, killed the heron, uh, human coronavirus, right? So I'm thinking, okay, is this true or is this false advertisement? So I posted it and I just put my finger there and I said, you know, something like, you know, what are your thoughts? And people were like, do your research, Zena. Look at what you're saying. You know, this is not true. Um, this is a completely different virus. This is a different strain. And so how quick we are to jump into someone's soup pot, gumbo pot for me, um, to start adding ingredients and start adding elements rather than checking the temperature. Or, you know, I often tell people it's like, don't kill the messenger. Like, I'm just saying what I want to say. It doesn't matter whether it's different from what you want to say, or maybe I don't have all of the information. I'm just sharing, right? So sharing, my whole thing about sharing is giving you something to think about, giving you something to um, move um, in a different direction, giving you a little nugget or just inspiring a conversation. But it's so interesting how today the day and age that we live in is everyone wants to condemn and criticize and jump on stuff. So let's stop doing that. Because let me just tell you, because you're on the defense, <laughs> and you're jumping on stuff and criticizing and, and using your energy, what you're doing is is taking away from any good energy that could be coming to you or that resides within you because you're jumping on a bandwagon that really doesn't exist. So it's almost like um, there's an argument that's happening, right, in your household. And then all of a sudden you jump in that argument and now you become the major focal point in the argument. And everyone, the two people that were arguing, they're happy, go lucky, and they're okay. But now everybody's pissed off at you because <laughs> of whatever you said. It's like, why would you stir that pot and get in that when it didn't even involve you? Like your energy could have been like, you know what? Y'all go ahead and argue. I'm leaving. <laughs> but that's the society that we live in now. Everybody wants to get into everything and just jump into stuff for no reason. What you don't realize is that that adds weight and it adds um, negativity to your person because it, it was something that was supposed to flow through you, happen around you, not happen to you. And that's sort of being a badass for me is I started to realize that I wanted to live in this world, um, use my gifts, talents and ability, but not be suppressed and compressed by 
all the crazy shit that's going on in the world today. So that's my interpretation of a badass. We're going to get into that. But I also posted something recently. I think it was yesterday actually posted because it said uh, um, the USA Today or something like that said that um, Donald Trump was going to give a, 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 a portion of his salary to help um, to help let me pull it up to help do something. I don't know what it was, but the point that I was trying to get to is that he was going to give a portion of his salary. So I'm going to go actually to my post and say what it says. i tell you what it says, because I wasn't really like concerned about his salary. I was more concerned about like, well, dang, pay your dang on taxes, dude. <laughs> and That would help versus like, you know, you talking about adding, you know, just paying a portion of your salary. Are you giving us a sympathy pass? So it said that um, Donald Trump um, donates a fourth quarter, the fourth quarter salary to help fight against the coronavirus. Right. And I'm like, oh, poor us. We need a fourth or your fourth quarter salary. Like, You've spent more in your fourth quarter salary, whatever that equates to, just on one golf trip, probably, because you live so extravagantly, because you didn't want to live in the White House and you didn't want to travel and use facilities that other people use, right? So I'm being shady right now, but the point that I'm trying to make is, who cares about a fourth of your salary? Who cares about you trying to jump into something that you said what didn't even didn't even matter was fake news? Who cares about that? And so I posted this and then, you know, right now it's at like one share and all of these different comments and people were like, Zena, you should you should uh, do your research. He has paid taxes. Prove it to me. <laughs> I, I, the point that I'm trying to make here is so many people want to jump on a bandwagon to defend something, to deflect against something versus, you know what, can you just like be in your own space and in your own energy and just not stir the pot into something else? So that's why I thought today was about badass because I don't care. I really just don't even care about um, the comments, about what people say, you know, about about different posts. Um, I just share things and it's my opinion. So it's my page, it's my opinion, right? But um, when we start to attack people and we start to, um, you know, go in on people for situations that had nothing to do with us, um, that's totally the opposite of badass. So I have resigned myself to live a badass day every single day. And, um, I was gifted, um, this book, it's called You're a Badass Every Day, um, by Jen Sereno. And it's really talking about being in your place and space. And I felt like it was speaking to me. So I wanted to share some things with you, um, as this is my last podcast day. I can't sing. So <laughs> I just thought I'd share that with you. But anyway, so, you know, making a choice in life to live your life the best way possible to live your life um, the way you so desire and require is a huge choice that a small percentage of people make. A lot of times we're just going with the flow. A lot of times we're just living on autopilot and we're just functioning and everything that's happening around us is happening to us. So we think. Um, and so we ingest that into our lives. We ingest what people post, what people say, what people do into our lives. And we don't know how to um, digest that information. So what happens is uh, these things, post opinions, blame shames, take residence within our spirit. And so our spirit doesn't allow us to glow and flow and be the people that we really are designed to be. And that we are orchestrating this newness, 
awareness, whatever it is that is us, we are always orchestrating this every single day. And so when you um, allow this stuff to ingest within you, then you won't take the leaps and you won't take the steps that you need to take to live the life. And so that's part of the reason why this is my last podcast, because um, I want to do some things on television and I want to do uh, more traveling and I want to uh, be in a better space for myself, for my own holistic person. And that includes more meditation, more time in nature, more time just um reflecting on my life and how I can use my life to be a better service. So this was a huge decision that I had to make because first of all, it was a huge decision that I made to to have a podcast. I am an extremely introverted person. There are very few people who know me intimately. And when you do, you probably know everything. But so when I started this podcast a year ago, my intention was that I was going to show up and share. And it first started off um, how I presented this to Keith was I was going to show up and share my experience in human resources and, and helping people find jobs. And then questions and different questions started to come up. But then I started to grow and evolve. And the person that I am, um, is a spiritual being that sits in this human human existence, having human experiences. And I felt that those were valuable for me to share. So when I got sick, um, and it knocked me off my feet, when I ended my relationship, when I was challenged at work, these are things that are happening in other people's lives. And I wanted you to know that you aren't alone. You aren't alone in being laid off. You aren't alone in being unemployed. You aren't alone in a breakup. You aren't alone in, um, you know, financial situations. You aren't alone when your car breaks down. But let me help you navigate how to change your mindset on that. Let me help you how how to look at that differently, how to reflect differently. And so one of the keys that I have learned in this growth process um, is I need to find something positive in every single thing, every single thing. And it's hard, right? Because just like that post about Donald Trump uh, and people were saying all these negative things, it, it would have been very easy for me to bounce back and and make these comments and and get this sort of um arguing banter going on about something that just doesn't even make sense to me. So, um what I did is I posted I agree to disagree. Like I humbly take myself out of this situation and it diffused the situation. In some cases, some people still wanted to go in, but you know, I agree to disagree. And so in that moment I said, I respect your opinion, but I respect my opinion as well. And so in that moment, the one good thing that I could find is that I could walk away. So when we're dealing with life and life is coming at us, right, and we feel like it's a personal attack and like the relationship is bad or the finances are bad or you don't know which direction to go to, um, In my workshop the other day or the other week, um, there were some people who were unemployed. There were some people who were conflicted with looking for employment because they wanted to find um, different types of jobs versus the jobs that they are currently doing. And so what I tell people and what has worked for me is you need to do an inventory of who you are. Not what so much what you've done, but who you are. And so if you can ask yourself some simple questions like, how am I showing up in the world? You know, how am I using my gifts? How can I make an impact today? What is life teaching me today? What is it that I need to learn? What is it that I need to focus on? What is it that I can be grateful about today? And so I think those are some badass questions. When you can sit down and ask yourself, I'm just saying, so if you know anything about me and you know anything about my coaching, 
Uh, first of all, I I have a conversation uh, in this sort of rhythmic way where I'm doing this dance in my head, right? So follow me, follow me. <laughs> but um, the other thing is just I'm always willing to get out of my own way. I'm always willing to get out of my own way. And I'm always willing to let things show up the way that they need to. So I'll give you an example. So I ended a two year contract with um, a broadcast network organization. And literally the last week, it was very emotional because I made some really good friends there. And there's some people that I'm really going to miss. But I ended that contract um, at around the same time uh, that that I needed to buy a new car, <laughs> that I needed to um, possibly look for a new residence. Um, so when you have all of that coming at you, sometimes you're stuck in um, sort of this analysis paralysis where you cannot move forward. And I say, ask yourself some questions. So my coaching, if any of you are ever interested in my coaching, let me just tell you, I believe that we have it all within. And so my coaching is so simple and so, um, I don't know, the word just came revolutionary, but really, okay, I guess that's the word that spirit wants me to say, because I think that it helps people move into a different direction quickly, or it helps them stay stuck in their situation. And, and so why would a coach admit that, you know, it's okay to be stuck in a situation, because there's more you need to learn. And so I don't, I don't try to coach everyone, I don't try to help everyone, because some people need to stay stuck in their own quicksand for a very long time, um, until they are willing to recognize their personal power. So today about being a badass is about me standing up saying, okay, the job is going to end. Okay, um, friendships are going to uh, maybe go away or maybe maybe people will forget about me. Um, okay, I need to buy a new car. Okay, I need to find a new place to live. Okay, I'm going to be ending this podcast and going into unknown territory. But you know what? I know who I am and I know what I'm capable of doing. And even when I don't know I'm capable of doing, I know that I could put forth an effort and one effort leads to another effort leads to another effort. That's what I'm talking about. Badass. You can assimilate a badass attitude really, really quickly. You don't need to climb mountains. You don't need to burst, bust down walls. You don't need to knock anyone out. You can do this gradually. You can do this by changing and shifting and doing something differently. And here's the holistic thing about it is you do something differently each and every day. So if you just shifted your mindset, right, to appreciate those different things that you do every day, those different thoughts, you'll recognize then you're further along in this journey in this process than what you really thought that you were. And so isn't that badass? That's awesome, right? Hey, thank you for tuning in and listening to the Ask Zena radio show um, on the Good News radio station. I just wanted to share some things with you today. So um, I want to talk about just the flow and how life happens and how not to get stuck in life. And so um, here's a, I wanted to read this. Um, the excellent thing about living as a human being on the planet Earth is that you have the almighty power of choice, which means you can choose between achieving success and giving up. And so each and every day we have an opportunity to make a choice. Each and every day we have an opportunity to um, to choose, right? To choose, am I going to get out of bed? Am I not going to get out of bed? Am I going to fight LA traffic? Am I not going to fight LA traffic? So, so an example of that would be is you're going into work and you're just not happy, right? And you feel like you just don't have any choices because you need this job, you need this income, you need to survive, but you do have a choice. You do have a choice. You can choose to go into this job 
a, a job, whatever job, and you can say, you know what, I'm going to try to have the best day possible. Or you can choose to be like, I hate this job. I regret it. I wish I could find another job. Because here's what happens um, when we start to think differently, when we start to act differently, when we start to reflect differently, opportunities present themselves. So I'm going to share a couple of different um, things on how, how opportunities have presented themselves in my life. And that's why I've come to the realization that I've been living a badass life. <laughs> so, you know, I, I think that like being a single parent and never being married um, and, you know, all of these things, like when I start to compare myself to other people, yeah, I feel like maybe I haven't had um, as successful or an easy as a, you know, the road has been easy for me. Um, but that's when I start to compare. But when I start to stay in my space, my space, let me tell you how I have been blessed in my life. And these are things that just happen to me. I'm not bragging or boasting. You have to understand there's a message uh, in this madness. And the message is, let me tell you what the message is before I tell you about all this stuff. The message is each and every day, you are a badass. You just have to acknowledge it. You just have to take one step. You just have to do one thing differently. And life will start happening, manifesting. Um, things will start creating around you. So I ended my two year contract uh, assignment. Um, again, just bought a car, just, you know, looking for a place to stay, well, a place to live, not stay, I have a place, um, looking for something comparable, because I live by the ocean, I have this ocean view. So now seeing um, that the rates of, you know, what people are charging are three times what I was, what I'm paying currently. So I don't want my lifestyle to, to go down, I want my lifestyle to be comparable and or greater than what it is. So the last week, you know, I'm ending my, my contract and there are no prospects for new opportunities in terms of consistent income. I mean, I obviously have some projects that are that will generate some income, but that's futuristic. That's like I have to do a lot of work to make things these things happen. There are some opportunities that are presented themselves to me that um, don't have any money associated, but are huge in terms of an audience base and in terms of recognition. So. I decided that I was going to find one good thing about uh, leaving a job with a regular paycheck. And that one good thing is, whew, I just, I took an opportunity to breathe and I was just going to let life flow. Normally, in the past, when I've left contract jobs or when things have ended, I would freak out because I'm like, oh my gosh, how am I going to make money? How am I going to do this? How, 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 how? And this worry would start to come over me. I didn't allow that. Now, it, it tried to seep in every once in a while, but I didn't allow that to happen. And so Monday of the last week that I'm on contract, which was last week, I get a call from someone that I don't even know who saw my LinkedIn profile and said that there's an opportunity um, that uh, I could work from home and I could do, um, you know, it's, it's an opportunity to work long term with a contract and um, it's a new company that's going to be going public soon. And I was like, okay, okay. Didn't even have that industry experience, right? So we start to get further along. We schedule a phone interview. That interview goes well. We schedule the next phone interview and that interview goes well. And then by Friday, I'm like, okay, there's a possibility that this is, um, this is a new opportunity for me. But I just, I just sewed into that calm and I didn't, I didn't worry about retrograde. I didn't worry about leaving on Friday with no paycheck. I didn't worry about that. Well, that opportunity is still brewing, right? But um, I got a call last night that that I am the candidate um, that they are considering, um, and and they presented some things to me, and I was like, wow. 
God, you are showing out because it's more money than I anticipated. It's more freedom and autonomy than I had had. Um, it's, it's more exposure into a completely different environment that really puts me into my purpose and passion with the tools. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, like I could not have created that. Um, And I know that it will happen. It will happen, you know, as it should, but it's given me the opportunity to do some other things. And so I'm sharing that with you because when you get really clear and not let the circumstances of life impact you wound you and you start you know um ingesting all of this stuff you you, life starts to unfold and if I'm talking and in a way that you guys don't understand please reach out to me I'd be more than happy to help you with understanding this because I know that it feels like oh this this is too complicated I, I I don't get this I don't get what she's saying at the core of what I'm saying is Life is really, really simple and you can live a badass life when you let go. And, and I want to show you because I have proof of how things have manifested in my life from letting go. So that's just this opportunity. But I have been practicing this mentality, this spirituality for probably my son is 22, let's say 22 years. Um, where I felt like I've had this awakening and have been climbing this ladder and growing and evolving. So um, I have had manifestations happen in my life where um, I am thinking that, oh, I'm waiting for the lottery. I'm waiting to win. When I started to reflect, I have been winning all along. And if you guys think about this and you remember and you listen to my podcast, the last podcast I did in in December, I said, I am going to play to win. I am going to play to win, not play, not to fail. It's a difference, huge difference. I have been, I, in my life, in my life up until this point, I think I have been playing not to fail. I've been playing not to fall down. And sometimes I did. I've been playing not to not to be embarrassed or not to be cast aside I've been playing and and I've and with always in the mindset of like I'm not going to fail I'm not going to fail I'm not going to fail well failure looks like a whole different a lot of different things but I've never ever said I've been I'm going to play to win like that is my intention I'm going to play to win So following with this whole badass theme and mindset that I, that actually, when I think about it, has been part of Zena Contreras for a very long time. So as I think and beat myself up because I am not at the level that I think that I should be at or where I should be or at a recognition or a stage in my life, I actually have. And so I, I, I reflect and I ask you to reflect because I'm sure that rather than beating yourself up about the circumstances that are present and evident in your life right now, you can probably think back to situations that you have had milestones of success. So I was telling someone else um, this story. I remember, uh, oh, this was many years ago. Uh, I have an email address, um, C-R-E-O-L-M-X, um, Creole Mix, because I'm Creole and I'm Mexican, right? So back in the day when I'd use AOL, that was my email address. Don't try to send anything to me to that email address because it doesn't exist anymore. But I use that email address. And this is a true story. So I was doing some recruiting and that was the email address. I mean, I didn't know I had that email address on my, my resume probably. And a person that I knew was sending out these motivational things every once in a while via email. She sent it out to some people and we were all connected in human resources. Bottom line, this um, gentleman received it and he was Creole and Asian And so he befriended me based upon the email. Now, this gets really weird because you're going to be like an email. When I tell you (laughs) 
how much money this email brought into my household, you're going to be like, what? Okay. Fast forward, um, this person, I'll just say his name is Steve. Steve, um, accepted a full-time job with a, with the city and county of San Francisco. It was a high level position, but Steve actually had his own employment agency. And, um, I think I was living in Arizona at the time. And so Steve reached out to me based upon my email and based upon him contacting the mutual friend and said, Hey, who's this person? And, you know, and, uh, what's she about, right? Whatever that conversation was. Well, he found out that I was a recruiter. So Steve called me and said, Hey, I've got a proposal for you. I have been having my own search firm and I was awarded a contract to do a reorganization of an IT department, but it's in DC. I'm in San Francisco and I just accepted this major position with the city and county of San Francisco. However, um, the contract is already done. Will you fly up to DC with me? you guys hearing this? Will you, I don't even know Steve. I've never even met Steve. A matter of fact, I had to call my friend Becky and said, who is Steve? What is this? Is is this real? Anyway, will you fly up to, uh, to, uh, DC with me and, um, I'll buy your plane ticket and you can actually have the contract. You will be paid through my company and it's X, Y, Z amount. X, Y, Z, is a six figure income. Yeah, seriously. So I, I'm sitting there and I'm like, what? This this can't be real. So I look up the company. I look him up. I call my friend Becky. He sends me the tickets um, via my email. I meet this man who I've never met in my entire life in DC. We then go to Maryland. We take a a shuttle over to Maryland. We sit with the CFO, the commissioner, and um, the CIO at the time. And he is now introducing me as his project manager. That was the first morning I set eyes on this guy. The first morning. Anyway, this reorganization project was like a multiple six figure deal that was to last for um, 18 months. Um, We did my team, I actually was able to hire a team there that would reside in DC. And I would fly back and forth every other week or every third week um, from Arizona. Yeah, like I got a chance to work from home. I got this contract. And we were so successful that we finished that project in less than a year. And, and that was amazing. And it was just a huge accomplishment. Um, But but that's how living in the flow happens. And that's I'm sharing this with you. Because I've lived this I've done this I've walked this walk I've talked this talk. I live and embody this badass mentality. But I want you guys to grasp this. And so that that isn't the only time that I have had a major windfall like that. So I'm going to share one other time with you and then I'm going to get back to a couple of things because I really want to infuse you with the mindset that you can live a badass life simply, simply. So I remember I I was working from home in Arizona and I was working for this company that I was just so frustrated. I mean, it was they they sometimes companies that that have you working from home they try to milk everything out of you and this was one of those companies it was a company in Florida and i was working from home and i mean it felt like a sweatshop in my own apartment you know while i was working on the telephone i remember one time i i literally threw the telephone across the wall across the living room into the dining room and hit the wall anyway So, um, long story short, uh, I had an employee at one point I had, I think 13 recruiters that, that worked for me remotely and, um, I built relationships with them. Well, one of them, um, a lady by the name of, um, 
well, I'll just call her CB. <laughs> and she was amazing. Uh, we both left the company and she would give me different leads. Well, she passed on a lead to me and she was like, well, it's temporary. I can't really do it because I need benefits and so on and so forth. And she gave my name to um, a high level individual at Experian. And when I was talking to him, uh, in a mat, like literally I was talking to him while I was ordering a burrito, um, at a fast food joint at Filiberto's in Arizona (laughs) and, and negotiated this whole deal where like, not only was I going to be able to work remote and in my home, but I was going to be able to work and it was temporary. It was like for a year, but I would get benefits and I would make like 20 to 25 bucks an hour more than what I was earning. And I was like, are you serious? I mean, I'm getting this deal while I'm ordering a burrito. It was just crazy. But I've had moments like that. And I'm here to tell you that you can have moments on any scale, whatever that scale looks like, um, if you just get out of your own way. And so that's because I was playing not to fail. I don't even know. I'm just so excited and and so um, elated as to what life is going to look like now with me deciding to play to win. Um, I'm just so excited at this journey. And so I wanted to share a couple of different tools that you can use to start playing to win so that you can start having some real badass experiences. So they're going to sound like, oh my gosh, um, that's way too simple. That just doesn't make sense. Let me just tell you that life is supposed to unfold simply for us. That's a contradiction. That doesn't seem like that makes sense because life is so stressful and struggling and all of these things. And we've got uh, viruses and illnesses and people getting sick and all. of. But life is supposed to happen through us not to us. And so when life starts to impact us and starts to happen to us, that's because we're holding on way too tight to some things. So I'm going to recommend a couple of things, but always, always, even if I'm not part of the good news family, you can always reach out to me at coach.askzena at gmail.com or on any of the social media platforms, or you can go to my website, um, (laughs) askzena.com. askzena.com, right? So I just want to share just a couple of things with you because I truly, truly believe that you can step into your badassity, (laughs) your manifestation, your divine life, if you just start moving and grooving in a way, I have a special guest, (laughs) in a way that makes sense to you And maybe it doesn't make sense, but I'm challenging you to start living the life that you desire by simply doing a couple of things. So one is when you wake up in the morning, I want you to ask yourself, what is it that I need to learn today? Maybe it's not that question. What is it that I need to accomplish today? Maybe not that question. What impact can I, this is huge. If you just ask yourself this, what impact can I make today? How can I show up today? And watch life start to unfold for you. Watch watch things start to happen. Watch that doom and gloom that you've been experiencing, that you've been frustrated. Watch that start to dissipate. And so that's the first thing that I ask you to do is ask yourself a question in the morning. Whatever you're going through, whatever frustrations. And I'm just going to give you a couple of other things that I think would really, really make sense. So um, let me digress one second, because I have a friend who's really looking for love and she's on every dating site. And I asked her to do this. And this told me that she wasn't ready for love. I asked her to write the most important letter that she could ever write. I ask her to write a love letter to herself. I ask her to write a love letter saying how wonderful and how great she is and what she brings to the world, what she brings to a relationship. 
And the reason why I did that is because once you know who you are and once you know what you bring to the table, guess what? You're just a magnet for all of this other stuff because it's like you walk through this vortex and you've created this space and now all of this new awarenesses are starting to happen to you, for you, with you, around you. But guess what? She continued to be on those dating websites and she continued to go out on these single dates that didn't manifest into love because guess what? She wasn't clear as to what love looked like for herself. So when I tell you that I am a walking, talking, breathing emanation of what I share with you, I am. So before I moved to LA, I wrote a love letter to myself. And I wrote it um, just speaking who I am. I mean, it took, it took me probably about, oh, maybe 90 days to finish a love letter to myself because I wasn't believing and I wasn't residing in that space of authenticity around myself. But shortly after I wrote that letter, love walked through the door. Because guess what? I was open and receptive to the possibility. I didn't think that the poss- that the possibility was outside of me. I had come to terms that the possibility of love was within me. So when I recognize that I had it all along, it just automatically manifested. And it manifested into a relationship with someone that I have known for 15 years. So once you get really, really clear as to what it is and who it is, I'm just asking you to get clear on you. I'm not asking you to get clear on being a millionaire or owning a radio station or (laughs) <laughs> or anything like that, or having a relationship. Or, I'm just asking you to be clear on you. And once you can do that, you can live this badass life. So a couple of other things that I want you to do. Now, I want you to ask yourself those questions. But I want you to sit in your bed for like five minutes. Just sit in your bed for like five minutes and see the thoughts that you are thinking. Because here's where I'm going to ask you to clean house. If your thoughts automatically go to your ex or to your job or to your finances, I'm going to ask you to start to create some new thoughts as soon as you wake up in the morning. And maybe that's really difficult because we navigate the darkness really, really easy. We stay in our our mess. Do you know that people seek pain far more than they seek pleasure? We talk about pleasure, but we're so comfortable in our own pain that we stay in that. We stay in that. So I'm asking you to step outside of that. So for the first five minutes, I'm asking you to get some new thoughts. And here's how you can start to get some new thoughts. If you can't move out of the existence of whatever is going on, play your special, play a special song, play something that really motivates you. You know why I play Rocky? Because I don't like exercise and I'm not a, a person that like, will climb up all of these stairs and like, I got it. I got to the top. Rocky, that song, every time I hear that song, that theme song, in my mind, I am seeing someone run up these stairs and like hold their arms up and like, I got there. I got there. It may not make sense to anyone, but it makes sense to me. So sometimes in my day, I play the Rocky theme song because I need that motivation. So you got to find something to motivate. These are muscles. So if I told you that wealth, abundance, and full manifestation of what it is that you want in your life is a muscle, would you believe me? Doubt it. I doubt it because you wouldn't even know how to get there. But what I'm telling you is just like your abs, just like your glutes and your buttocks, it's a muscle. It's stronger than anything that you have. It's your mental muscle. It's your heart muscle. It's your spirit muscle. It's the muscle that you came into this divine existence and you need to exercise it a little bit more. So, all right, off my soapbox. (laughs) So a couple of things, I, I, you know, music and meditation really fill my life. 
And um, I am a, such a simple person that one of the things that I do so that I can remove my the muck of the day, the the world is me, the stuff that's going on through the day and the stuff that I listen to, or even the feelings or emotions that I bring into my household. One of the things that I do is I watch the same sort of stuff every night. So one of the things that I do before I go to bed is I try not to fill my head with any sort of um, action or, um, or, or negativity or crime or anything like that. I will literally either read the same book, a couple of pages of the same book, or watch Everybody Loves Raymond. Because everybody can laugh off of Everybody Loves Raymond. If it's I Love Lucy or if it's whatever, I don't care what it is. But I try to shift from the day and the life that I've experienced during the day to something a little bit more lighter. So when I go to sleep. So these are three things that you can do is ask yourself questions, lay in your bed for five minutes, watch your thoughts, change those thoughts and, you know, do that through music or do that through affirmations and then change your thoughts before you go to bed. And if you, and here's the the real powerful thing. If you can, every day capture a vision whether it's for seconds or whatever of whatever you would like to design in your life whatever that is however big that is whatever that looks like I don't care if it's a mansion I don't care if it's creating making a movie I don't care if it's being a rapper I don't care if it's being an author it could just be being a great parent if you can capture that vision for yourself for one minute each and every day, you're putting that out into the spheres and you are drawing that energy to you. So on that note, I am, I'm off my soapbox, you guys. I am going to move forward in my existence and live a badass, badass existence. And um, I am playing to win. So this will not be the last time that you hear from coach ask Zena this is just a brief hiatus as I go and really um, start to put some things in place in my life and start to um, live my life the way that I am designing to live it and it means that I will be back but it is a short time and I need to just put some things in place so thank you so very much for tuning in to the ask Zena radio show on the good news radio station and um, check out all of the shows that we have and all of the different personalities. Keep in touch. Ask Zena.